For a second, I thought I hadn't turned the mic on this entire time. Oh, just like. Hey guys, my name is Amira, aka Meerkat95. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a bit of a thrift haul and a try-on of all the things I've bought in quarantine so far. So let's I'm gonna show you guys what I got today and style them up into different outfits. Um, so with that being said, let's get into it. So first up, we have this gorgeous uh, vintage '90s Forever 21 dress. Uh, I'm a lover of tag, so I'll always show the tag. I hope it's focused. I can't really tell. Um, Maybe I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> uh, but it's this gorgeous like lime green and it's like very girly, which is not something I usually go for, but I'm trying to kind of explore that. And I got it from the Silver Lake Flea Market for $15 from the seller. Uh, her name is Cassandra Vinzon and she actually has a Depop shop if you're interested. And I'll actually put her information in the comments below. So next up we have some, it's a gem in my opinion. It is vintage 501 Levi shorts that I found at the Goodwill. Uh, on Venice Boulevard in Culver City. I got these for about, I think, $5.99 or six bucks, and I just, I love the fit of 501, so I have to take these out. Uh, next, I have some other, like, vintage tees to style them with. The first one is, I think, one of my favorite pieces of the entire haul. It's a vintage Looney Tunes and Cross Colors collaboration tee. It's the dopest thing I've ever seen in my life. Cross Colors is like a 90s hip hop uh, brand, uh, black owned, and of course Looney Tunes. I'm a lover of Space Jam, it's my favorite movie, so I have to get it. But the best thing about this tee is it has a front and a back, like, come on, like I have to get this. I got this from a Depop seller. His name is Daniel Beard, and I will put his at in the description box below as well. Uh, so next up is another denim piece, because you'll have, you'll come to see. I love denim, I, I can't help myself. Um, so these are actually vintage Gap blue jeans. Um, I got them for $25 on Etsy from a seller called Vintage Gwendolyn. I think they're a really good price. I feel like most vintage gym now goes for like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, so these are a steel and the style is their reverse style. Um, so you kind of see what they look like when I tried them on, but I feel like they're more like a, a wider leg. Um, so I'm actually going to pair these with this scarf I got, also from the Silver Lake Flea Market. I love it because of the color, it has a very like 70s, 80s feel to it, which I love. I got this from a seller at the Flea Market, but she also has a Depop and her shop is called Heaven and Hell, and I'll also put her at in the description box. I got this for 10 bucks. It's like one of those things where you look at it and you just got to have it, and this is one of those moments. So. We love her. And next, also, I mean, graphic tees go well with Levi's or any sort of jeans, so I also got picked up this tie-dye tee at the Silver Lake Flea Market for five bucks. I got this because I was actually inspired by Taylor Made Style on YouTube. She wears this in a couple of her videos, and I just I had to have it. Like, I wanted to be like her. It's amazing. 75. Okay, a la Scooby-Doo. <laughs> So again, we have another vintage denim piece. Like, I'm telling you guys, I got a problem, but it's a problem that I don't want to stop. Uh, but I got these vintage guest jeans from Out of the Closet in Glassell Park. I got these for, guys, $8. And they're just, oh, I love them. I love them because they have a super high rise and they fit my waist perfectly. And I kind of want to pair these with, um, I kind of, you know, more classic statement. Um, so again, I have this kind of just basic uh, vintage Ann Teller black tank. Nothing too special about it, but it's super soft. And I kind of want to layer that over with this vintage 80s zip up hoodie. I think it's gorgeous because it has the shoulder pads, pads, which I'm actually I'm going to lean into. Normally I would kind of take them out, kind of more modernize it, but I'm going to lean into it to the vintage full force. And I just love it because it has these cute little bedazzles to it. It's really simple. You can throw over any sort of top. I got this uh, for about, I think, I think it's like $6 at the Goodwill, again, in Culver City on Venice Boulevard. And yeah, I love her. For a second, I thought I hadn't turned the mic on this entire time. Oh, just like, all right, it's another vintage piece, um, again, with denim, of course. 
um, vintage Gap jeans. I got these also from an Etsy seller and their Etsy shop name is called The Vintage Vines. I got these for 30 bucks. They're more of a low rise fit, but they kind of fit more mid rise. You guys will see when I try it on in the try on portion. But it's another classic piece. I love it just because it gives you a different type of vibe and a different type of fit. And we're gonna pair these with another uh, tank. But this one's a green. It's, I don't know how to describe this color, but it's gorgeous. And it's also 100% silk. Love that. So I'm gonna pair that with the denim jeans. And let's put in a little bit of an accessory, guys. This is a vintage 1970s coach courier bag. Like, I mean, you guys will come to see that I love, 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 coach. And so I actually found this on Instagram from a seller called, or a shop called Magnolia Vintage Co. She also has an Etsy shop, but I saw this bag and I had to snag it. It's so, you can tell it's, um, 70s because it doesn't have oh it does have the green on it but that's how you can tell it's uh vintage coast because it has the uh the creed or the bossing on embossing on it yeah but i love this gorgeous 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 okay so next up we have another 80s piece like i said guys i'm leaning into the shoulder pads i'm leaning into the style it is this gorgeous sort of like velour blazer with these really cute um, flower, embroidered flowers on it with these really cool black and gold buttons. I'll kind of go a little closer so you guys can see the details. I mean, I just, I had to have it. Like, it was one of those pieces where I was like, I don't know where I'm going to wear this at, but I'm gonna wear it. If I had to go to the grocery store with this on, I'm gonna wear it. And again, let's put the tag. Made in Italy, Italy. So we love that. So I'm gonna pair it with a, a pair of high-waisted black jeans. And to bring out the colors in the blazer, I'm gonna pair it with a pair of, like a purple shirt that I already have. And another thing I thrifted that I kind of want to pair with because of the pink in the blazer, I thought I would pair it with these pink, kitten heel, square toe shoes I got at um, another thrift store. Before I forget, this was actually from the Salvation Army in Alhambra, which is one of my favorite places to shop. And I got these from a thrift store in Culver City. And I kind of have to look at the name because it's it's a long one, guys. It's um, Timeless Treasures TikToker Thrift Shop. Long name, but good price. These are from The Loft. I don't think they're vintage, but they're kind of, you know, going with the style of the square toe, kind of a 90s, 2000s vibe. And I thought these would pair really nicely with blazer. And these are just about five bucks. Can you pause it? Pause it? I don't know what's happening. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Okay. So next we have another blazer, another 80s moment. Um, a la, what's her girl's name? Blaze and Glaze. I feel, like, I feel like this is something that she would sport and, and I'm getting kind of inspired by her. So this is a cream blazer. I believe it's linen, but it's a vintage Jones New York 80s blazer. And it is pretty long. Again, I am only 5'2", but just wait until you see how I style it. I think it's gonna knock your socks off. Uh, and then I'm gonna pair it with this little like 90s, 2000s fake faux leather bag or vinyl, I think it is. I'm gonna pair it together and I think it's just gonna be a bit of a moment. I got the blazer from the same Salvation Army in Alhambra. I think I got it for about, let's see, six or seven bucks. And I got this from the same out of the closet in Glass Out Park that I already mentioned for about four or five bucks. Okay, so next up we have some trousers. Again, you know, I don't always wear jeans. I wear different types of pants. But these are kind of high-waisted trousers and by the look of the eagle on the front and the fact that they have a more of a utilitarian style with the loops and the buttons, I think these are Boy Scout pants. You know, I never was a Girl Scout in my day, but hey, you know, not too late, you know? <laughs> Uh, but then look at this tag. I just love it. It has like a little person on there I think that's probably why that maybe they are Boy Scout pants, but I want to lean fully into it I'm gonna pair it with since I want this to be the statement 
I really wanted to highlight the pleating and the details on the pants. I'm gonna tie it in with a very simple crew neck sweatshirt, gray. Um, this is a really great staple to have. As you probably already know, thrift stores are great for, you know, one of kind pieces like these trousers. They're also good for, you know, staple basic pieces. And I got this in the kids section. Uh, so that was only $3 and the pants were about $5.99. And I got this whole outfit at the Salvation Army in Alhambra which is one of my favorite thrift stores because I used to live in the area. Plus they have really good deals and the people who work there are really nice. They, they know me now. They always say hi to me. Okay, so I did promise color and don't worry, I won't disappoint. Boom! I have this colorful orange, yellow, I guess it's yellow, more like a golden and then like blue combination windbreaker. I got this at the LA Road Store Thrift in Glassell Park, I think I got the name right. I got this one for 20 bucks. It's a, that store is great. It's a bit overpriced, but you know, you didn't, you do find gems like this. And another, you know, tip I will share is that I did find this in the men's section. So whenever you're thrifting, like don't neglect any of the sections. A lot of the times things do get mixed up. And at the end of the day, clothing is genderless. Who really cares? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Next up, we have some more color. Again, from my favorite thrift store. One of them is the Salvation Army in Alhambra. We have this pink, bubblegum pink t-shirt graphic tee. It has Keith Haring's uh, design on it. I believe this design is called Crybaby. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, artiste of the world. But I just love this, I fell in love with it. I love Keith Haring's designs. I just love the color. So I'm gonna pair it with a leopard skirt that I already have and kind of just tuck it in. I think it's gonna be really cute. Even what I'm wearing right now, just some jeans. I think it just looks really cute. You can pair this with even high-waisted black jeans. I think it's just really cute. Wow, you think I have another adjective in my mind instead of cute. Um, shirt. <laughs> so, and uh, this is only about three bucks. So since I love vintage so much, I'm gonna lean, I'm leaning in for the 70s and 80s vibes of just kind of flower power. So when I saw these, and again, at the Salvation Army in Alhambra, you already know, I fell in love. There's these sort of drab green army, army green? Yes, navy's blue. Um, army green pants, and they have these cute little embroidered flowers and hearts and little lightning bolts on them. They are vintage, but they fit perfect. They're by this brand called Sundry, Sundry? not entirely sure but i got these when i got these they had the tags still on them um and i believe these normally retail for a pretty hefty price i bought them for about maybe eight bucks and i feel like on their website these pants go for maybe about 60 or 70 and the fact that i got them brand new is like so i'm just gonna pair it with a um teal crop top that I have, that I already have. And one of the things I love about this outfit is I actually wore this exact same outfit when my boyfriend and I went to go march for the BLM movement in conjunction with the LGBT movement, all Black Lives Matter movement. Um, so it's kind of really special to me and near and dear to my heart now. Um, so yeah. I'm just being silly right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are still around right now, thank you guys so much for tuning in. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into my first video. I hope it was enjoyable. I hope you guys kind of got a vibe what my style is, and I hope you guys will tune in for more content. But again, my name is Amir, aka Meerkat95. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and. I need like a little, I need a little like quip. What do meerkats do? Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Bye.